My son is very quiet and withdrawn. Thanks for spending time with him. I love him. My grandson. I just feel so stupid, you know? Okay. It's gonna be okay. I promise, okay? I'm trying to have a baby. Wow. Do the kids know? Just Drew. And he got really upset. I bet you he's taking that hard, huh? Yeah, you know him. Someday they'll find your small town world on a big town avenue. Gonna make you like the way they talk. Nice when they're talking, he's talking. Gonna make you break out of the show. Cause they tell you too. Remember, he's our dad. He's like the way some they lie. crazy drug addict. He's changed. He loves having children. Yeah. You know. Someone and I know that it was important to you to have a relationship with him. From what I've seen. All Drew has done his whole life is sit around and wait for his father to show up. Wait for him at school. Wait for him after soccer. Cause no one tried to give you Wait for him on his weekends. For his weekends to take them and he would never show up. So they all oh, hear my honey. troubles. I'm really sorry. For what it's worth, you have me. I'm not going anywhere. Somebody ought to take you in. You were to make you devastated, baby. Broke up with you. you like the way they feel when they're under your skin. Never once do you think that they would lie when they're holding you. What's your deal with Natalie? Look, it's just that last night I saw her macking on some other dude. What's wrong? Everything. Polly. She, I tried to kiss her, okay? She totally rejected me. I'm the laughing stock right now, so Wait, thanks. Wait, so why? Come here. Because there's a picture of you guys making out going around school, so. You're never gonna understand me. <laughs> it's okay to be sad. Okay, basically, there's a school dance coming up, and I'm really nervous about it because I don't know how to dance. That's basically why I'm here. Do you have any idea what you put us through? What if you would die? I'm pregnant. It's not gonna be okay. Listen, you can talk to me about us. I ended up talking to my mom. You told your mom? Yes, I told my mom. I'm sorry. Okay? But it was so helpful. It just feels so good to talk to someone who's not involved in it the same way. I heard from Berkeley. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> Feels like she's just gonna go off and start some new family with you or something, you know? It hurts. Thank you, Drew. She's not trying to start a new family, right? That's what it feels like, so. Drew. He's a really incredible kid. I like that. I mean, maybe when Dad got better, you guys would get together or something. <laughs> I know it's stupid. But... It's not stupid. <laughs> you can get married without mom there. Ever. I'm gonna tell her, like, right after we'll have like, a thing or something. It's fine. Devastated. It's not about her, you know, it's about what I want. I know it's not. It's definitely not. What? What's your problem? I, I'm here for you. I just, I can't do that. Enough bad stuff has happened to me. I'm pretty much used to it at this point. So Why? We found out my aunt has cancer. What? Yeah, my aunt Christina. She has cancer. So. And it's serious. Good grandson, let me tell you something. You are an extraordinary young man. There's a depth to you that's just truly remarkable. Someone of your age. I'm there for you if you need me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can still do that, can you? Go for it.